So when I type in the category for this game on Twitch or on uh, OBS, it, when I just type in Mario and Luigi, it lists all the Mario and Luigi RPG titles, but it also just lists a game just simply called Mario and Luigi and nothing else. Does anybody have the slightest fucking idea what that game is? What is that? I've never heard of just Mario and Luigi. It might be an error, but normally the category uh, titles are like fairly accurate, so I, I really don't know. Uh, we, yeah, see, we got some cool fucking Popple art. Popple, the best character ever devised by all of fiction. Popple, everybody's favorite. This is from the Creep 7. This is great stuff. This is based off of his giggling sprite in the game, and I think we actually might be meeting Popple in the game today. We'll see. I don't know if we're gonna get to the Chucklefuck Woods or not, but first, I have to do some actual plumbing as Mario. What a silly situation we've gotten ourselves in. Rest in fucking peace, Alpha Dream. They died. I didn't really go into, like, the details of this earlier, but, uh, I think Alpha Dream... Oh, I, I, I used to... Back when I was playing Mario RPG, I, like, brushed up on this, but... From memory, I think, because there's a there's a company called Square Enix, but there's also just Square. Square worked on Mario RPG. Then the series sort of split off in two, where I think some previous employees of Square went off and formed Alpha Dream and made this series. And then there was also like, I think in-house Nintendo uh, also made went on to make the Paper Mario series. So there's two sort of divergent paths. And I think Square Enix is, like, what, like, Square became. And then some people left and became Alpha Dream. It's confusing. I- that is, to my memory, how it works. Maybe I should just be doing bros moves like there's no tomorrow, so I can get the advancements. Oh, let's watch Mario hump the air. Look at him hump. Look at him hump. What's up with him? So, yeah, the, when, when we last visited the Mario Brothers, uh, I think her name is Lady Lima, was like, Oh, you- you're here to help. Cool. Well, fix the fucking plumbing first. I will bonk you! I will bonk you! Ah! I did it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Yo, 666! Six, six, six. 666. Time to hump the air. How many- I, I've talked about this before, but how many fucking times do you think this- this one Mario theme, World 1-2, has been fucking remixed throughout the series, like, endless times. Still waiting for, like, a real meaty challenge with this game. I remember the, the combat, actually, like, it's fun. How nuts is that? RPG combat that you enjoy doing and, and look forward to, and it's a, it's a good part of the game. 900 clean. One time when I was a cash register, <laughs> when I was a cashier, uh, I rang someone up and it was exactly 100 bucks to the cent. I'll never forget that. Never forget those days when I was a cash register, but- Oh shit! Wow, that was it. You've saved me, you heroic souls! Look at the little kid behind her, he's just like, Boom. Nice. Waha! What are the Mario Bros doing in a place like this? You literally put us here. Oh yeah, there's an imposter. It's- she's sus, dude! Holy fuck, literally sus. Sus. So it's most perplexing. That's why she was such a fucking prick. So, yeah, this is- we're coming up on the, uh, muscle fetish boss. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> the bean star. Can you fucking believe this shit? I'd love to make, like, a collage. A tessellating collage of all the, uh, different stars they've had in Mario games. It's so all the fucking Paper Mario ones, there's the classic yellow one, there's the fucking, like, the stars in Mario Galaxy that have, the, like, curved edges, now we got the Bean Star. And I feel like, aren't there, like, a million other star-themed items in the RPGs, too? They've always remained at this castle, acting as guardians, protecting the Bean Star, and keeping it out of evil hands. Oh no, she's after the MacGuffin. Do not dawdle! Look at her fucking goofy face. Look, she's in her easy chair. Snack cake! Yeah, here's Queen Bean. Queen bitch! Roo hoo hoo. She even, like, snarls with laughter. That's how goofy this world is. Hunga. Alright, here we fucking go. I should've healed before this. Luigi has nine health. All right, time to nut. Insta nut upon seeing this this lady. No, let's use a mushroom. Oh, right, hold on. No, I need to hit her hands. 
they're like a separate thing. And they like deflate and she gets like, oh my god, it's literally a Jolian reference. I remember what happens. Because I think she gets a little baby arm. Literally Jolian reference. Disgusting, like, warm, moist bean. Oh, right, I remember that. If you step on one of the beans, she gets a little creep. Whoa, her arms are back. It's arms! Is she gonna kill her own? Oh, nice, she does! 23! That's what you want. Also, those guys really chipped away at Luigi. I'm gonna try bonking them. Okay. Nothing happens. It makes them, like, bounce twice as fast. It's kind of fun. <laughs> I wish I could fucking imitate that sound. Well, it's more than anything. Kind of can't wait till we get a little more variety in the bros' moves, too. Because right now we just have Splash Bros. Please be over. There you go. I knew it! I, I, I just felt it with that hit. Oh, I have to kill his dragoons? This is where the- this is where the Omega choke happens. Oh god, he's choking! And bonk. <laughs> look how much- look how many woo beans I got from that! I got two. I got two woo beans. The amount of choke you'd need to die here. <laughs> I actually did, like, get hit by that one little goon, though. If this had been, like, Donkey Kong Country, I would've fucking bit the big one. A belly bitch worm. Yeah, Belly Belchworm. That's, uh, it's from Spirited Away. It's the little worm that's around the seal in, uh, Haku's stomach. Our fair kingdom is doomed! Doomed! How will he ever return Queen Bean to normal? I know. Go find some fucking root beer. That's literally where the plot is going, I think. Waha! <laughs> like how Mario's doing an epic pose and Luigi is like, I guess my thing is being scared. The legendary Chocola Reserve. God, I can't do her voice yet, because she's fucking out of commission. But we are going to see Popple. Chateau de Chucklefuck. I love the Chucklefuck woods so much. <laughs> what other stuff has this composer done, chat? Uh, did, did anybody say? Because I forget. He didn't do Chrono Trigger, did he? Oh, right, this is the- right, I forgot about the badges. One of the badges in this game is fucking broken. It's the, uh, the, the mush badge, if I recall correctly. Look, Luigi's so bored. <laughs> Sorry, Luigi, if you want your own badge, you'll have to go buy one at the store. Wow, Luigi, get fucked. Look at these dilapidated houses. I remember this guy! Oh my god. Who does this guy, like, make me think of? This guy makes me think of, like, a very specific human being, and I'm- I'm not sure if I- like, Germa? P badge. Guys, P. Look at this fucking dude, he's just like dead! Someone help this guy! Like, this guy over here who's just standing there doing nothing, just thinking about looking forward to his like 4 p.m. dick flattening. Help this dude! There's just people dying! Stop! Make it stop! They're having like a fucking night terror. Oh, look at these fucking guys! I remember these dudes! I remember coming down like when I first unlocked like the overworld area. I came down here and found these guys and I was like, look at these dudes! But they wouldn't let me in. Travel here is permitted only for select individuals in order to guard the Chucklehuck Woods tech ecology. Sorry. Chucklefuck Woods ecology. Why did you hold that up to the middle distance behind you? You are certifiably insane. I was like, I'm practically insane. Yeah, I love soda. I, I actually, uh, I know I always, I, I'm like such a downer of a human being. I don't like soda. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, soda, beer, anything carbonated, I'm just like, I, I don't understand like what- Wow. Luigi actually didn't bonk him, sad. But like, I, they're just not like good. They're- and, and it's like, it's literally just like juice that you get to be like mildly uncomfortable while drinking. It's like, hey, do you want this like delicious sweet juice? But do you want, while you're drinking it, to be like... <laughs> well, soda is perfect for you. 
beer, too. Beer just doesn't even taste good. Like, cream soda, I'll drink that, and I'm like, okay, that has a good flavor. Beer is like, wow, this tastes like piss, and I'm going... <laughs> ...while drinking it. Like, bruh, this is all, this is entirely an L of a drink. I also think that, like, all alcohol tastes bad because alcohol is poison, but... That's a whole different story. That's a whole different fucking, like, line of inquiry. Like, I really like chick drinks, where they're insanely sweet and it, like, blocks out the taste, the actual taste of alcohol. If I can't taste the alcohol, good. People who are, like, connoisseurs of vodka scare me. Because it's like, what are you- it's like, literally, you may as well be doing, like, having a little tasting club for, like, lighter fluid at that point. It's like, holy shit, I've tasted ostensibly good vodka, and guess what? It's still- eh. It still makes you want to fucking puke. Root beer's like, okay. You know what's a fun thing? Root beer float. That's a fun, like, dessert thing. But, like, just soda on its own? Can you guys imagine? Like, I'm already a pretty overweight guy. Can you imagine how much of a fucking blimp I would be if I was into, like, soda and chips? I feel like that would just be, like, I would not even be alive anymore. Place one Chocola fruit in a barrel that's been filled to the brim with savory syrup. Fictional fruits and berries. You may know this because my fucking logo is a fruit, but they always, they're always very cool to me. I want to eat a Chocola. During Pokemon, like, Gen 2, I always wanted to... What are those things called? Apricorns? I was always like, yeah, I want an Apricorn. Tell funny jokes to the, jokes to the fruit until it laughs. Releasing soda bubbles deep within the brew. Yes, that is canonically how the bubbles come out, is from laughter. Bear in mind that the quality of both the fruit and the jokes will affect the brewing process. Father of Chocola Cola, first generation Chateau owner. Bubbles. I remember there's a really fucking annoying maze coming up. Yep. <laughs> God, it's weird how much, like, sticks in my memory. It's been a while since I played this, too, but I remember this bit. Oh, wait, oh. Huh? Huh? Who's that? Who's that? That ain't Mario. That ain't no Mario I've ever seen. Hold on. <laughs> Look at his little pants! <laughs> He's the best! <sighs> oh. I can't even switch right now. I can't, uh, I can't even make him, like, take out his hammer. What bullshit, and I can't jump with him. Wow, this sucks. Oh, he's literally just, like, right there. <laughs> and by the way, if you play this section without acting like a total asshole like I just did, I remember the first time that happened, it was genuinely like, Whoa, who are you? Like, what the fuck was that? It was, like, actually kind of a cool moment. But I basically ruined it there, sorry. Stuff like that always fascinates me where there's like... It's something that happens once in the game, so you need to like relish the opportunity to actually fuck... futz around with it. I almost said a very distasteful word there. That was... that was a close one, honestly. Guys, I almost said something really bad. That's right, fudge. Oh, boo, blast, criminy! The famous shadow thief Popple has been caught in full sight! Cripes! You think you're ready, do ya? Nobody's more ready than me, see? This guy's the most, like, meh dude ever. Here's Bowser. Yeah, boss. He's like, meh, see? He's like, the, literally the most meh guy ever. This guy and TJ Snapper from Rhythm Heaven, they hang out. Okay, rookie. It's your turn, see? I want you to squash, squash those red and green drips there. I need to give him, like, a more snivelly voice. Yeah, boss! Luigi is spinning mid-explanation. Red and green. I feel like I know these two from somewhere. <laughs> he, he said palookas. I should have read that line out loud. Makes me feel real mad. He's quite- he's so animated, too. Boo, I say! You think you can beat me to punch me, see? Filcher of the world's riches. Nice. Oh, he is here, right. He steals your shit like an asshole. He can, like, take your hammer, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, this theme is a fucking absolute bop. Sour, please! Fuck you. I'll be taking- Oh my god. I'll be taking that one. For some reason, fighting these guys makes my gut flare up something fierce. Wow, fuck me. Oh, that was spicy! You bloated idiot. I gotta in incorporate bloated into my vernacular more. You worthless vermin! Look at his face, he's instantly chill. Man, I don't care, see? We're fine as long as we get the resolve. He's gotta say resolve. He's like Meowth, he's got Meowth voice. Oh, bonk. Hey, there's more Mario and Luigi analogs. Look at these fucking dudes. Have I been saved? Zetala! 
This is the game that taught me the phrase Zotala. I'm the Metri mit 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 miter miter of Z Shatiao. Cork, right? Cork and like popper or whatever. Cask. Popper. <laughs> we were stuffed into these barrels by these trebia bizarre creatures. I was gonna say trebian. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So some weird shit. You guys ever heard about sourdough starter? There's this thing about, like, sourdough bread has to have a very specific, like, yeast culture or some shit in it. So, a lot of bakeries will have literally just a lump of sourdough, like, dough. Just the, the like, I think it's called, like, starter or something like that. It's just, like, a little lump of fucking dough that has the specific, like, yeast culture or some shit in it. I don't know the exact specifics, and whenever they make new sourdough, they take a tiny little bit of this dough and like mix it into a lump of fresh dough. And and something about it, it like it it, it like makes the taste. It's the weirdest fucking shit ever. It's like they have this like eldritch fucking like yeast being that they they mix into every single every single loaf. <laughs> Yeah, it's fermenting yeast, it's not actually dough. It's just weird to think about, what other food is like that? And they kind of, I think they kind of have a similar thing here with the Chocola Cola. I guess it's not like, there's just one really fucking good barrel of Chocola Cola. Also, why is everything in the universe Mario and Luigi, right? We've already reached our like third or fourth iteration of this thing where there's like analogs for Mario and Luigi and other characters. Bonk. <laughs> That is like the old like bonk meme from like a few months ago. Short red and tall green are cornerstones of the universe. It's all on the cob. It's a universe on the cob, a Mario and Luigi universal constant. Fantastic! Look at his face. Hammer! Please do not hit anything on the wall. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck. Oh shit, oh fuck, oh shit, oh fuck, I'm gonna go to fucking jail. Get out of there! Dodge the cops, lose your wanted level. Wow. What were those guys doing in a barrel? What were they doing in a barrel? I'll tell you what they were doing. Chuckling and fuckling into the wee hours of the morning. Oh god, the music. I remember this music. Fondly. Cat jam, cat jam, cat jam, cat jam. He's fucking walking trees, dude. Straight up an earthbound enemy. Wouldn't it be a douche move if there was a, a bean buried in the ground that was like hidden behind the fucking like leaves in the foreground? For all I know there is one, but I kind of doubt it. That would be a super douchey move. That's like the hidden coin in Donkey Kong 64 that nobody found for like a million years. <laughs> Mario like T-poses when you're getting ready for this, by the way. Time to T-pose on chat! I remember this, I gotta like make Mario uh... Look at that. I love that specific cue. He doesn't say barrel, he goes hoo hoo. It's like basically the Deku tree here. Yeah. And he crawls around, chuckle root. He doesn't look very funny. Oh my god. I remember this. And I think his the different segments of his body become like different colored, right? Like red and green. Only some may pass. <laughs> White chocola fruit. Red. Chocola fruit. He's literally making... No, never mind. Purple Chocola fruit. If it was green, wouldn't that have been either the Mexican or Italian flag? I don't know flags at all, so sorry for embarrassing myself. Which pride flag is this? I guess the Mexican flag has like an emblem on it, right? Oh. Ooh! Ultra Instinct! I didn't even like remember that move, I was just idly jumping with both guys. I'm the Grand Tatter of the Great Chakrut. This is my room. <laughs> this is a forest. There are no rooms here. Look at this fucking thing. That reminds me of Yoshi's story. The like happy fruit plant. Oh, this fucking guy. There's a wiggler. There's always a dickhead wiggler in every single Mario and Luigi game. Wow, get fucked. Get absolutely fucked, dude. Mamma mia! Thinking splash right on his fucking dumb head. Night. Oh my god! What the fuck? He's fucking gone. These these are a weird addition to the game. I feel like were these a necessary mechanic? Huh? Look at how fucking fast these. They're like. <laughs> 
Fucking ferocious little things. Ooh. Check this shit out. I can pound Luigi's nuts. I think he's at 1 HP now, too. Yep. Wow. You guys remember the part of Bowser's Inside Story where there's, like, Mario gets vored by a singular enemy? There's, like, not only do you get vored by Bowser, but there's also a, t a part where, like, a sock op, like, swallows Mario. Or I think it's Luigi. And you have to go into that thing's body, too. And it's like, bruh, this is an obsession. This is no longer just... This is no longer just a theme. It's like, at this point, Nintendo, you have a problem. I'm so sorry, I'm... I feel like my singing gets obnoxious a lot of the time, where I just never stop. Oh my god! They like attach to him and he's like, ah! I am amazed. Very well, you pass. Very well, go. He's getting so emotional. <laughs> yeah, he just becomes dormant. Oh yes! I was stuck and couldn't get past you, see? Wow, they suck just as much as me at navigating the menu. Or the map. I didn't know waiting for a couple of schmoes was brilliant. Wow, what assholes. What a bunch of just dickheads. Oh, I think, yeah, we're here. God damn. This is like the boss of the area. Jesus Christ. I really zoomed through here. Here's the fucking tee hee giggle fucking coke thing. I love this too. He's just been sitting here telling it drinks for years. I also remember watching this cutscene a bunch of times because this fight was hard for me. As a kid. Granola Cola. He's just telling it dad jokes. He's been sitting here playing Manzai Birds. My name is Bubbles. I built Chateau de Chucklefuck. This Chocola Reserve is yours to enjoy. It'll murder you. Literally a thousand years. How fucked is that? And then we just come here and take it and like feed it to our muscle waifu. It is a soda of such high caliber and repute. Again, I remember seeing this whole dialogue bit like 10 times because I died to this boss a bunch. In. Du. Tra. Also, there was- that was the fucking, like, Mario World spin jump sound effect. It's no ord ordinary soda, see? We can't stand up to such a beverage! God, like, literally every line of dialogue here is, like, burned into my brain. And there he is. Wow, they're fucking dead. Ah, it is wonderful. So wonderful. The great soda shines! <laughs> However! It was not the only hidden soda power that my jokes have bred over these thousand years. God, the lore of this game is just nuts. Bon appetit! I love the design though, it like, it's so... It's such a stiff drink that it holds its shape without the barrel. Look at his fucking paintball gun, I forgot about that! A what? I was too late that time, I think. Yeah, there you go! That's what you want. That is what you absolutely fucking want. Yeah, the paint gun attack's kinda insane. Oh. Fuck, I went way too early. Oh shit, he's gonna tell it a joke! Do bats like baseball? <laughs> oh shit, what? Not familiar with that attack. Luigi's fucking like a zombie now. Good. Honestly, good. There you go. Easy, finally. It took a long time to, to beat him, but at least we got him first try. But yeah, I remember that boss being fucking hard when I was younger. That shit was nuts. Now soda no longer exists, we killed it. That thing that that guy was working on for a thousand fucking years. Yeah, it's it's dead now. We killed it. Bye. The jokes, the puns, the humor I've saved up over the last thousand years! Oh my god, why do I feel like this guy is me? But the jokes, the pure comedy! Comedy incarnate! Au revoir. We're gonna like fall into it. Wow. Wow, we like literally ruined it. Like now it's soaked with like Mario's ball sweat. Guy's literally got like infinite jokes in his soul. Like he was doing that for a thousand years. Look at that, the tree has eyes that are exposed with this. Oh, look at this. You know what, Mario? Fuck you! I'm leaving you to the rot. I'm not, I'm not seeing it. Oh, well, Mario's fucking dead. Time to drown him. He's fucking a dead. Oh. Oh! Simple. Easy. Wow, weird. So if I go back to that cave, it'll just be like a dead end then? Wow. He drank it! Oh my god, we're gonna fi- I forgot about this plot point. Mario drank all of it, and we're gonna fucking, like, birds- Like, mama bird feed it to Queen Bean. That's so fucked up. It's sloshing around his insides? Gross! But kinda hot. That's terrible and sort of hot. Yeah, I sure hope nobody fucking pukes into my open mouth. 
Mario's like, oh, what's this? She has a different sleeping sprite. Oh god, no. Chat, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you seating? Are you, are you, are you seated? There you go. It looked like it came out of his penis! It looked like he peed it out! Are you kidding me? The sprite originated from his dick zone! Time to take a fucking piece! And there she is. Oh! Oh! A truly repugnant, yet truly tremendous success. Look at her fat fucking ass! I love it! It's the hardest I've left in a long, long time! Wait, is that, is that too far for her voice? <laughs> That's how she sounds, though. Oh, I wish Cacoletta would steal her voice so I wouldn't do it anymore. It was all my fault. I let the imposter stab me in the back. Nonsense! Oh! The Beanstar! Oh, Lord Dump. Yeah, it's a MacGuffin, who cares? It is said that a voice of great beauty is required to wake the Beanstar from its slumber. It must be the voice of a pure and noble soul, not just this random Rhythm Heaven character who's here singing. Look at this- oh my god, speaking of Rhythm Heaven, this is like Peach in Rhythm Heaven. I know I keep talking about Rhythm Heaven, but look at this, she's got the weird body proportions and everything. Why is she drawn like that? In this day and age, Princess Peach is the only one who possesses such a voice. Everyone's too foul. She must plan to awaken the Beanstar and fulfill all her desires. Her evil kink shit. Rule the world. Okay, never mind. Oh! I foresaw this desire of her long, hers long ago. Card for card, we have a better hand than she. I'm done doing that voice. I'm so done. I was looking forward to it the whole game and now I'm done doing it. Yo ho. Luigi's a huge fan of this guy. Huge fan. Yes, thanks to you, my secret mission's about to pay off. Ha 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 ha. That gets so obnoxious with how much he does it throughout the game. Prince Peasley! That's just a great phrase to say in that voice. What a prick. Absolutely! Woohoo University! Fuck you. Cacletta and her underlings have just snuck in there into Woohoo University. We're going to fight the viruses from Dr. Mario. It's kind of a mediocre area, if I recall correctly, the, the university. Not nearly as based as the Chucklefuck Woods. One of these is like an entity. Hold on. No, I need to see the pipe entity, because this is my favorite fucking thing in any Mario game. I think it's this one. Yeah! I love this fucking thing, and its weird, like, voice is, like, burned into my head. Welcome to the pipe house! I'm literally, like, an unknowable entity. I'm here to teach you everything you want to know about pipes. I love this guy so much. Uh, no. <laughs> All that build-up, I don't even want to talk to him. Don't come if you want to ask. Cloning incident of a bullet bill. Holy fuck, that's real though, that's true. It's like not even a joke. He's got the arms, he's got the mouth, but yet he's a pipe-like entity. Yo, the badges in Bowser's Inside Story were such... That was like such a good system they had. Where they like fit into one another. Hold on. Fucking Bowser's Inside Story meme. Are you ready? <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. They could be saying anything. <laughs> but the, the badges that fit into one another. And you can like mix and match the cool different like abilities. Look at this fucking dude. This is another very goon dude. We gotta see some of this. Hey, this is the famed Star Beans Cafe that everyone's a buzz about. Uh, so, can- and- and- and listen, we don't need to gender everything. When I was younger, I was always like, What am I looking at here? Is this a boy? Is this a girl? What am I looking at? I think I came to the conclusion that it was a girl. That it was like a butch female character. But I think it's kind of supposed to be a dude, now that I'm really looking at it as an adult. Ethereal gender. Look at this! Look at this situation! Luigi, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, oh, here we are. The Ho Ho University. Nice, get the chuckle fuck saga out of here. Look how long ago it's been since I saved. We're at 413 time, it's probably gonna go up to like 450 or something here. 446. God, I kinda do wanna just keep playing, but uh, I think it's it's good to call it quits here. My hand is kinda hurting. Uh, what a fucking fun game though, I'm having a really good time. It's hard to dislike any part of this game, even when it is a little bit, you know, rough on the tutorials and shit like that. I will drain Luigi's balls until nothing remains. I feel like, would it be the strat? If you're like a badass, like no hit speedrunner, to just drain Luigi before every single fight, you know? Luigi's like, oh my god, 4 p.m. again, is it? Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take it easy. Go to bed. Or something. Eat a cheese.